Hey man, it's Tig Politics, and I'm back once again with some outstanding information. So as you see, I'm outside with it, cause you know, right now we just real disconnected from the earth as a whole, you feel me? And I'm finna talk about that, right? So we pretty much letting the world be ran by Facebook, and Instagram, right? And see, I I, w I was wondering, like, when back when they was talking about changing the name of Facebook to Meta, I was thinking about like what the fuck that shit mean, right? And then I I, I remember um back when uh Ron Artest changed his name to Meta World Peace, so I was like, okay, Meta World Peace. World peace is a good thing, right? So, meta combined with world peace is a good thing, bruh. That's, that's what I think, right? Period, right? So, I never knew what the word meta mean, right? So, I went and looked it up. So, the first definition that popped up, it says, of a creative work referring to itself or to the conventions of its genre. self Refer, 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 ritual. I don't know how to say that word. My girl probably know how to say it. But yeah, that was the first one, right? The second definition, though, if you scroll down, is like the origin of the word, right? So it's going to tell you combining form, right? And then you got one that says denoting a change of position or condition, metamorphosis. Denoting a change of position or condition. So you think about what I just read, the meta, meta is denoting a change of position or condition. Okay, so we always on Meta, right? Because it ain't called Facebook no more. We might still look at it as Facebook, but this shit is called Meta now. So we always on Meta. And Instagram is still Meta, right? And if you've ever been on there long enough and you just start to feel yourself like, I don't know, I guess you could say get depressed or feel a type of way or, you know, you might see something that you want or some, somebody doing something that you want to do in life or whatever the case may be. But it's just like you you starting to change like the way you think personally because like you always got this phone in your face. You always got something else in your face that ain't even got nothing to do with you. Instead of just living. Like leave your phone home one day and see if you can survive without that bitch. Like for real, for real. Because meta Think about it. And then the next one said, look, it say, the next one under that say, denoting position behind, after, or beyond. Then the next one say, denoting something of a higher or second, second order kind. <laughs> and then if you just keep going, it's just, it's more, everything got to do with a combining form. So think about it like this. Everybody on this shit, everybody. So the more we continue to get everybody in one place looking at one thing, the easier it is gonna be to like manipulate everybody. You know what I'm saying? On some shit. Because of the fact that everybody looking at one thing. And then the biggest thing is this too. It always seems to be a competition between everybody on metal. Think about that shit. So how is it put, they bringing us together just to shit on each other. If you think about it, they really just bringing us together to shit on each other. But I don't know if we see it or not. And then this is the funny part to me. At the end of the day, all of us is going to be gone one of these days. We all going to be gone. So the best thing to do is try to be the best you while you here. You know what I mean? help somebody do something that you don't like yesterday for example i get, i was like i was like i went and go get food and stuff and i don't never leave tips like that especially like if i ain't sitting in like if i'm just getting my shit to go i don't never leave tips when i get food to go 
But yesterday I left tips at my places that I went because I always go there and they always pretty much nice. So I was like, you know what? Today I'm gonna leave a tip. And I felt good giving a little something to somebody. You know what I'm saying? They served me up. They, they, they served me up nicely. You know what I'm saying? Might as well go ahead and throw a little bit on you. You know what I mean? Like, that's the type of shit we need to be on. So beware of this meta shit, man. Facebook, Instagram, meta. That shit is designed to condition y'all and transform y'all brains into being fucking manipulated in all kind of ways, man. The hate, the hate crimes go continue to go up. Hate will continue to go up as long as y'all stay stuck on meta. And long as y'all keep on believing the cap and other people's life, everybody got something going on, man. Everybody got problems, bro. Money ain't gonna solve no problems that that's like not money related, period. Money go only solve certain problems, and the only problems money go solve is like financial problems. If 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 shit be fucked up beyond just finances. Money ain't gonna change that. So, to everybody that feel like rich people got it easy, they don't. They probably got it harder than the broke people, for real. Honestly, because one thing about the broke people, they ain't gotta worry about nobody asking them for shit or bothering them about nothing. You get what I'm saying? Rich people constantly got people wanting shit, needing shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I need help with this. Can you help me with this? Can I, can I get help with this? And... Most of the time, the help ain't even, like, the type of help that is, like, let me help you help me. It's, like, literally, like, they just want them to do everything. Like, ain't nobody got time for that shit, man. So, get y'all ass off of Facebook. Get y'all ass off of Instagram. And if you go be on that shit, do something productive. And don't get conditioned to be a bum-ass nigga or a bum-ass bitch or just a bum-ass person. Because ain't nobody got time for that shit, man. Y'all should be running around free like my dog pissing on shit. He running around just having a good time out here. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying piss on everything, though, either. I'm just saying, just enjoy life like a dog, you feel me? Like, live, sniff something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hope y'all get what I'm saying, man. And I ain't talking about do drugs or nothing like that. Just, like, take a deep breath. Go outside and breathe in the air or something, you know what I'm saying? But just to politics, man. I hope y'all understand what I was trying to tell y'all about this meta shit, man. It's conditioning y'all to hate each other before y'all die. And that's the wrong way to die. You're supposed to want to love, give, and repeat, and thank God for everything. Everything good is God. And if it's bad, then you know God wasn't there. He wasn't around. That means he wasn't present at the time. But everything good is definitely God. It's Ted. Politics. I'm out. Peace.